Um, my name is George Davis and I've studied um, BA Architecture at the University of Plymouth. I think my attitude towards architecture has changed um, in the sense that before um, studying at Plymouth I very much thought about architecture in terms of its aesthetic and how it fitted into its context and how it sat there merely as an object whereas I think studying at the University of Plymouth has helped me to see buildings as more than just an object within a place and they actually have these kind of broader social and economic impacts that go far beyond you know the building in its immediate context. I think the integrated approach um, that the tutors take towards the education here has really helped me to pursue my own interests within architecture. Something that really interests me is the tectonics and the way that buildings kind of technically work and how materials meet each other and I think that's something that the tutors here really value and the way the modules are structured all of the other modules such as the technology and the communications module all feed back into the design project and it really allows you to kind of tailor it in a specific way that you find interesting. For my final third year project um, I've designed a metal foundry and I think it's really interesting to be designing a building where you don't initially understand all of the requirements for the building. So this has pushed me to really research you know, how would a foundry work, you know, how do you load in the materials, how does the workshop itself work and how do you reflect that within the building itself. And by doing that research it really pushes you to actually think way beyond how you want the building to look and work and how, well, how does it respond to the programme. In my third year design project, um, the metal foundry was responding to a lot of the previous industry and the previous um, recycling facilities that were on the site and how you can bring the two together to set up new small businesses for the future. And that actually makes you think far beyond the building itself because you're thinking about how would a group of people you know, live and occupy in this building for, say, a period whilst they incubated their small business and that really opens your eyes to way beyond you know, kind of a traditional architectural approach. The briefs are released in stages so that it really allows you to manage your workload from an early stage and you have regular tutorials every week which allows you to actually be caught up on with the tutors so they're ensuring that you're making the progress right from the beginning of the project so when it actually comes around to a deadline it doesn't feel like this massive push to the end because you've already been building up this kind of repository of knowledge over the course of the project and then when you come to the end of it you don't feel this need for this final push because it's just kind of the natural uh, conclusion of the work you've been doing over the past couple of weeks. The staff here at the University of Plymouth really are what make the course what it is without their dedication and without their kind of expertise and their openness, you really wouldn't be able to pursue your architectural intent um, to its full extent because they really have this open door policy, you know, the staff offices are within the same building as our studio environment. We know that we can always approach them if we need help. One of the key highlights of my time here at Plymouth has been the study trips particularly, say for example, the recent study trip that we did to Copenhagen in my third year really allowed me to see how the buildings engaged with the public realm because we went to buildings which weren't these isolated bubbles in the middle of nowhere. We went to projects which were in tight urban um, spaces and to see how do those buildings kind of respond to the existing fabric around them, how do they respond to the waterfront which they were on, which is something that's very similar to the um, to the urban fabric of Plymouth and allowing yourself to kind of be immersed in that experience in Copenhagen really helps you with your projects here in Plymouth because they do have these similarities and the way the study trips are picked based off of what is relevant to the project really allows you to actually use the study trip not as just a holiday. As nice as it is to go to these places, it is also a really valuable learning experience that opens your eyes to architecture way beyond just what we have in the UK. Advice that I'd give to applicants of the University of Plymouth is in your portfolio really get across a sense of who you are and what you are interested in because that is what the tutors really value here. The tutors want to get to know you on a 
personal level and they want to understand what your creative intent is. Don't just fill it with beautiful drawings that you have done, also fill it with all of the development work and all of the process and the thinking that goes in behind it because that's something in architecture that we really value and that's something that I know the course is really looking for in a person.